Yeah, basically it's US Marine kit from 2003, invasion of Iraq. So what you've got for that, weapons, the M16A2, uh, laser designator, infrared sight on there, obviously telescopic sight as well. The actual uniform itself is the mop suit, which is mission oriented protective posture, so it's your chemical protective suit. Um, on top of that, interceptor body armour, and then the Moly vest, uh, basically all the loops. So instead of the old belt and Alice kit, everything just clips onto the vest. Uh, it's got the pouches for M16, personal roll radio for inter-unit communication, uh, Kevlar helmet, night vision mount, yeah. gloves so you don't get your hands burnt on a hot barrel, um, knee pads obviously, sidearm, gas mask as well. Gas mask, okay. Pretty much it, and obviously around about with Marine Corps, got the K-bar knife, mm -hmm. which is particular to them, and backpack with the kit on it. And then again, Marine Corps is the first aid kit. Okay, which would contain what? Um, basically, that's for that would be for my use. If I'm injured, someone would use that on me. So you got your bandages in there. Yeah. Small burns kit, just minor things, a tourniquet and that sort of thing. Uh -huh. So it's basically it's, it's combat injury, immediate care kind of thing. So this this is battery pack, no? That's is the radio for the, for the radio. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, that's so it's just, yeah. just a short range one, so it's only got the short stubby aerial. Literally, just for sergeants to carry it. Squad. You just talk to each other in, right. within your platoon, if you like. So, yeah. platoon, platoon level radio. Oh, that's okay, that's fine. This one? That's the one? That one. Magazine for the sidearm. Sidearm, right, yeah. okay. And the magazines here for this one? Yep, they're M16 magazines. Um, water bottle pouch on that side. And obviously on the back, the uh, hydration pack as well. Got the camel back. Oh, okay. And that is, is it run around? To, oh, I see it, I've got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah just tucked in that loop oh, in a minute. Okay. Fascinating. Is that what it proves the vest you've got? Yeah, yeah, the vest is the interceptor. This is the first version of it. So you've got 9mm protective Kevlar soft armour in it. And this one's got plates on the back and front, which is the um, 762 protective. Wow. That so this, this would stop an AK-47 round. It would. Yeah. Uh, close, close range. Yeah, reasonably close. I don't know the details. Uh, you go on YouTube, and there's the people who designed it, and he stands there with a magnum, point blank, and shoots himself. Yeah. Shoots himself. That's confidence in your kit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It just uh, obviously just falls over, but uh, gets up again. Yeah. Yeah, I say you get you get knocked over, but you get up again. I mean, you'll have a bruise this big on your chest because obviously you, Still you know the bullet, yeah. that's the bullet hit. It basically can break the Kevlar twist, locks up, and the bullet will end up like a ten pence piece. But the shock wave will spread around the body armor, so you can end up with like you know a, a bruise like this. I mean, there's clips on YouTube with people getting shot by snipers, and they'll go flying behind the vehicle, and then a minute later they stand up. Get up and return fire. Yeah. <laughs> Can you explain the technology behind you? You said you got infrared and laser designation on it. Yeah, that's the um, PEC-2, PEQ-2. You've got infrared, laser designator, and then just a standard telescopic sight on there, four times magnification. So that infrared sight. would feed back to you if you had goggles on, no? Yeah. Is that how it works, Frank? Yeah. Yeah. Have you put a night vision there? Yeah. It was just a lot of white, well, greeny white. That's it, yeah. yeah. You know what? See the switches out there in the green? That's mm -hmm. looking through night vision. Yeah. Okay, and then what that sees corresponds back into your goggles. As yeah, you're down yeah. The you, you, with, with your glasses down, you would see, if you're not wearing them, you wouldn't see anything. Mm -hmm. But with your infrared on, you would see, like I say, a green haze of everything, but then you see the light green point. It's like a laser beam, but you can see only with infrared goggles on. Did you say at the beginning you, you are a US Marine? Did you US say Marine Corps. US yeah. Marine Corps. Oh, Marine Corps logo. Marine Corps. Okay. Oh, cool. That's a bayonet, can be a bayonet as well? No. No, no bayonet. No, the K-bar is literally just a fighting knife. It's one of the um, Marine Corps kind of special. Them only. So it's literally just a fighting knife. Any particular reason for the knee pads? Is that your choice to have those or is it um, standard? 
just whereas things are urban now rather than playing yeah. the field. I mean, obviously, when they first went in, you was out in the fields and, and that, but obviously in an urban environment, you're kneeling down on concrete, you know, rubble. Mm -hmm. So it's more personal protection. Okay. Some of, I mean, I've got elbow pads as well, so sometimes you'll have them. Mm -hmm. um, so it's personal choice. Sometimes you see them, like I've got one down there and one on my knee. Depending on what knee you're going to lean on, some some images you'll see where they've just got one, and that's it, and it's only the knee that you would lean down on. So it's just so many the glass. It's just personalised. Yeah, I mean a lot of the kit. You tend to find that in a, a unit, you would the commander would say, right, I want all your set up on your rig the same everyone's the same so if you're in a, a combat situation and someone goes down killed and you run out of ammo you know exactly where to go to get you know or you need the medical kit so you tend to find that a specific unit would set up the same exactly and i'm not paying 30 dollars to ship something so this is the us army so this is basically an advancement this this came out 2003. And by 2005, this uniform was the standard army uniform. Originally, it was was this as well. Mm -hmm. So you've got tricolour, which is the desert, and then the woodland. And you tend to find that there was when they first went in, there was a big mixture of bits. Of, you know, you'd have uniform, all that, and then the body armour would be woodland. I remember seeing it. Yeah. So you had a big mixture, and then when this started to appear, you'd have images of ACU. With bits of woodland, bits of tricolour, especially with the army. Um, later on, the Marines went to a digital, which is called Marpat, and they, whereas the army have got this for everything, the Marines had a, a desert version and a woodland version. So this, basically, the body armour is, is an advancement on that one. So it's still the interceptor body armour, but you've got the addition of this flat, which I think was still probably available standard issue and then they added the shoulder pieces but then what they was finding is some of people were getting shot where the body armour overlaps on the side you can see there yeah. I was finding that rounds were going through through the joint through the joint oh. although it overlaps quite a long way yeah, obviously yeah. It, you know the velocity of the bullet will go through there so on this one there's another panel inside Okay. Can you see that one inside there? Uh -huh. So that fills the gap up, and then on top of that, you've got this one on the outside. We've got our restaurant floor. So this one you've got, whereas that one had the plates front and rear, this has now got additional plates in these patches as well. So you've got protection the whole of your body. Yeah. This is Kevlar then, as well. Yeah. Protection. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah, all this. And from us out. And that's standard now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. This this comes as like what you would get issues with, and it's personal choice who wears it. Yeah. Um, you tend to see a, not many. It's probably about 50-50 wearing this. Um, but the groin one is a, a definite with everyone. That's slightly weaker than this though. Uh, no, this is. I mean, you haven't got the plates. Yeah. But this will still stop the same protection as the rest of the body armour. Because it's, it's just all the same material, yeah. you know, and that's only the that's the thickness you're talking about. Yeah. But, but the way Kevlar works, it, it's a woven material that's that's positioned at slightly different angles. So when the bullet or whatever it is impacts, they all twist and lock together. So it basically becomes like sheet steel in a way, and that will stop. You know, you got Under Armour gloves. I use Under Armour when I play football. Yeah, well, Under Armour make a lot of sports gear and that, but they do do military clothing and bits and pieces. So it's just extra protection on your knuckles. The sidearm, same. Uh, this is a Brett I've got. Such a high roof. We've got a lot of in there. Same, yeah. So same same firearm. Yeah, uh, and I can stand up in it, and it's I can touch well, the M4 down, down there, yeah. which so is just slow, the so shorter the version of the M16. Exactly. Still sort of sort of can you side. bring that up? And then down the just far end of the bedroom, I can put the wood, another wardrobe up. So this is it's, it's pretty much it's exactly the same. It's just a shorter version of that. You've got this different fore grip on it. <laughs> I never knew had that. No, I don't all have that. That's just, uh, some of it and some don't. <laughs> same laser setup. Right. Got a torch. Aim point. Scope. So it's just hang on. Sorry, basically everything. Two, yeah? What's this one? Torch. Oh, torch. That's scope. Yeah. Oh, so obviously in rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So basically this is. Same as that, it's just a shorter yeah. version. Um, spare magazine on there this time. Mm -hmm. um, same with this, spare magazines. There's a little torch unit there for reading. Um, this is all part of the radio system, so it's basically the same setup with that. Um, I've got a GPS unit in the side there. 
Oh, I've got fragmentation grenades in the side in those mm -hmm. two patches. Yeah. Food on the back, medical patch, same, basically the same setup. So it's, it's just different colour, really. Yeah. It's pretty much the same stuff. I've got obviously got the video on this, uh, night vision on the top. And this is just a, a light signal device, so you can, you, these come in different colour code setups. So this one's red and white. So in your unit, you would set up a colour code so you'll recognise each other. And on the outside, so there's an infrared beacon. There's a little tiny glass. I don't know you can see on the side there. So when you flip the night vision down, that's just going. And this is this is uh, flame retardant. Um, yeah, so it's uh, and, the, and the underwear is the same. It's uh, just moisture wicking. Some of it's got silver into it, so it kills bacteria when you sweat. <laughs> oh yes. So what's this here? This is a, a, just another device for the radio. It's just a, an on and off switch, right, okay. a comm set on the on the side. Right. Um, so basically, it's the same personal setup. You've got something extra here, this one. Yeah. Well, this 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 one would be between the unit to each other, and this would be back oh, to base. Yeah. Okay. So I, you know, if I was in charge of the unit, this would be my one back to base. Yeah, although it's only cut of hours. Um, so yeah, this plastic handcuffs. Yep. Morning, yeah. Yeah. Checkpoint. Yeah. 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 Armour stop the uh, knife. Last night. You're jumping around. Oh, well, certainly with the plates, it would, because they're they're solid ceramic. I mean, you can feel underneath they're about an inch thick. You feel yeah. under there. Oh, you actually you have. They're in the there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Feel on the side yeah, that's it, yeah. yeah. Well, they are thick, yeah, an inch thick. Yeah. Oh, heavy those? It's kind of 30 kilos, bad. 30, 40 kilos. I mean, it's one. Just calling in the airstrike air strike for you. Not just, uh, Who are you bombing? Oh, don't say us. When that's, you guys will do that's not got what this is. This is a bit lighter, this one. You know, I mean, that spreads when you've got it on, but it's still heavy. Yeah, time. yeah. So Mom. whereas with the old gear, you've got the, the webbing over your shoulder, it's digging in your shoulders. This is actually quite well spread around your body. And when you, I mean, you can see inside it. So basically, that's what you're getting. They're the extra inserts because what you had was this space gap. Yeah. So they put that in extra bit, yeah. to protect that, mm -hmm. and then you've got pockets to put the plates in. So that's that's basically the same as there. And he's now put his full. Oh, right. gas I wonder setup. what it looked like. Yeah. Just ignore me. Just ignore me. Screen. Bloody screen. Very few seconds. Just shot an Arab. Yeah. Just shot an Arab. Hashtag. If you're trying to, you would have to get that on the line. Love it. Happy days. And bear in mind, you're in vehicles and everything. What's that? Yeah. And this, this, this is all standard to wear inside a vehicle. Have you picked it? Oh, he's got a mic loop on it. Never ending technology, isn't it? <laughs> No, it's still frozen. It's still frozen. Uh, you've got night vision on this side. Yeah. 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 When the drones are flying, you're watching when they're filming. Yeah, if you go into a room, you go into a corridor into a room you can't see. Yeah. You roll a ball down, which bounces into the self levels with a 360 degree camera that, yeah. that you then watch on the camera to see what's in there. So, yeah, it's quite a big jump. Yeah, dear. Warfare is evolving.